All right, here we have it, the Nokia 800, the first Nokia with Windows Mobile. Mango, that is called. Uh, there are differences uh, that I found immediately. First of all, to uh, to open the phone and get in to the SIM card, it's quite a different process as what you normally do. You push in the top here, you push and you pull that one away and then you slide down another thing there so it opens up so you can see and then you take out the SIM card holder and that's the next surprise the SIM card holder is actually for a mini SIM a micro SIM a micro SIM of course uh, so <coughs> Nokia has apparently switched to the same kind of SIM card as Apple uses for the iPhone and iPad and uh, I'm not sure what I think about that, um, but I have my iPad SIM card here, and uh, I'll put it into the Nokia 800, and then we'll see how it's working out when I'm starting it. if there's any power <sighs> alright so let's work out how to start it <laughs> mm. you push the button below the volume rocker to start it Nokia Windows Phone. Welcome to your Nokia Lumia 800. Let's get started. Okay, this is very similar to when I used Windows Mobile before when I had my pocket PC computer. Uh, so I get to choose a language. Swedish. Your phone will restart and it will switch the language to Swedish. Now I will get help to uh, configure some settings. <coughs> I have to accept some user agreements and uh, I can use recommended settings or I can use custom settings. I will take a recommended settings. Uh, I will set the time for UTC plus one. Then I have to <coughs> log in with a Windows Live ID and uh, I have a, hot, a Hotmail account but I can't really remember it right now uh, so I will, I will do that later and now they say uh, some apps are still <coughs> installing uh, wait a little while it will soon be done So, at the moment I have no clue how long time this is going to take and there's no progress bar or anything that tells me how long it will take. There were some blue dots in the top of the screen and they are not there anymore. But it doesn't say that I'm done. In the meantime, I can remove the plastic cover. All 
Alright, now I can click continue. <coughs> and it says, now you're almost done uh, configuring your phone. Uh, Nokia will help you to configure a Nokia account. Thanks for choosing Nokia. If you continue, you register your warranty and accept Nokia's uh, policies. Uh, I will accept. <coughs> the blue dots in the top there appear again. And I don't know how long time it will take. So. I do have a Nokia account, so I will enter, oh yeah there's the keyboard, for the first time you can see the keyboard. Looks quite similar to uh, the Android keyboard I have to say, quite different to the <coughs> iPhone keyboard. But the screen is really bright and nice. And uh, yeah, I will enter my deals here. Let's hope I remember. I didn't. Okay. <coughs> okay, another try. Sorry for being slow. Okay, I'm logged in. And here is the start screen. Now I got a message from Windows Phone saying, Hey, don't miss our five smart tips and check out this short video to get uh, the most out of your new phone. Uh, www.windowsphone.com uh, Maybe I will check that out later. So this is the start screen of uh, the Windows Mobile uh, Mango. You can see it's moving and uh, doing a little bit up there at the contacts. Uh, I will start configuring everything and check out what's there. can try, uh, try the camera and see how it's working because the camera was uh, a strong point of the N8. and it was definitely not as fast or as uh, accurate as the N8. As you can see the picture here is an 8 megapixel camera. <coughs> it appears a little bit bluer and brighter uh, on the video than what I see here on the actual picture. So I have never used this, uh, window, this new Windows uh, mobile. Uh, so this is uh, completely new for me. Uh, I used uh, Windows Mobile back in the days when HP made uh, pocket PC computers and uh, that's quite a while ago. So the middle button you get back to the home screen uh, with a search button. I bet you go to the search screen. Uh, do you want to allow search to get uh, your position and I will say it's okay. And here it's Bing. So I can Bing search. I will search for Nokia 800 <coughs> and see what, what I get. Okay, so here I can choose between web and pictures. Uh, this is quite a nice setup. What I like now is that the scrolling is extremely smooth. 
and comparing to my N8 which is usually really slow even though I almost have no apps installed and I don't have a lot of photos or anything on it it's very slow this is acting way faster and I hope it will stay that way uh, the fact that it's Internet Explorer is yeah I don't know what to say about it uh, I don't think Internet Explorer can be good, um, but let's check it out. Oh, here is a big difference right from the start. There's uh, the address bar uh, to enter the URL in the very bottom. So I will go to some major websites. What do you want to see? Good work. Okay, gmail.com. <coughs> okay, the mobile version of Gmail comes up. Uh, it looks it looks alright, looks quite plain. I can check out here the settings and last visit I can go to add some more tabs looks pretty much as the iPhone browser well I'll get closer into that later on uh, I can enter my details to get my email <coughs> messages uh, I can make my calls from this screen and then here is Nokia Drive and I bet this is the same as my Nokia N8 that it, they include uh, navigation. Now I clicked on it and it said uh, preparing navigation for the first time, please wait. Loaded quite fast. I get to pick. Okay, I want Sweden. I want. <laughs> I want uh, women to read in Swedish uh, my instructions, so I will install that. <coughs> and then it says this is too big to download via uh, the mobile network, you have to connect to a Wi Fi to do it. Uh, I don't have a Wi Fi, but I will do it sometime later, so let's skip that. Um, Oh, but he found my position anyhow. <laughs> he knows where I am. Three D or two D. Also, oh, apparently there is already the maps are in, but probably what I had to download was the voice. Uh, which I don't care that much about but the thing is that I've used those maps quite a lot before uh, Ovi maps and they are not that good I rather use Google Google Maps <coughs> Nokia Music is the next tab and actually I have no clue if Nokia Music has got some kind of streaming or if it's just okay here it says my music mix radio mp3 uh, concerts and settings and then I can swap to play and I have zero songs which is not that strange yet here's the mix radio <coughs> and here I can take indie 1, indie 2, indie th soul pop there's the mp3 store where I can download three songs they show Levels, We Found Love, Sexy and I Know It okay I don't want to buy those songs uh, is there any concerts coming up? yeah there's concerts coming up but I don't know what's this uh, what what collection this is because it's not showing up a lot of concerts, just a few, just a few concerts. 
So here is back to the starting screen. So you can see there on the side that there's uh, another screen. So I know that I can uh, flip to another screen. Uh, and this is also... Ah, okay, I can switch there to get in just a, a row like this. Or switch to this mode. Uh, music, uh, drive and maps. New about apps. Xbox Live. Is that some gaming platform, I bet? Uh, I have to get an account <coughs> to, to get in. There's Angry Birds, Fruit Ninja, Jet Car Stones, Battle Wagon. Let's try and see if I can download Angry Birds. No, I have to buy it. I have to pay 24 crowns. About three dollars and I won't do that now I'm not very much into gaming in the phone anyhow pictures camera pictures yeah there's one picture but well you can see the interface is pretty pretty sleek and fast it's working really well and here are some sample pictures so let's flip over the screen is very nice and yeah the fact that the phone is fast is very good to me compared to their Symbian phones Nokia Symbian phones this is a large step up so this is the agenda the calendar <coughs> quite a different calendar view so here is today and if I scroll down I reach tomorrow and I scroll down I reach Friday and I, yeah this is nice this is a good calendar view I hope it will sync uh, with my Google account and everything um, but that will work out that's no problem then there's uh, music plus videos and this is connected to Sune or however you pronounce it music video pod podcast radio let's check out radio then and see what happens ah, okay this is a normal FM radio I have to connect the speakers uh, the headphones to listen to the radio but that's anyhow quite nice that they keep the radio in there um, and marketplace was the last one. Nokia collection, apps and games. Fireworks builder, cheap flight search, draw free. Fruit Ninja, summarize, relaxify. Um, if I go into all apps, check out, there's uh, categories. So if I want uh, photography app, there's a bunch of apps available. Most of them are <clears throat> not free. They are about a dollar or so. A little bit annoying because it's nice to have some free apps available you can try out. Nokia Collection. Let's see what Nokia Collection is all about then. Nokia Maps. Transfer your contacts. Tune in radio. <coughs> we are WRC Live. New about apps. It's already installed on the phone. New apps. Popular apps. Uh, Dance Hub. Yeah, apparently there's quite some apps available already. And uh, yeah, I know that this marketplace has been up and developers have been developing for it for a while. Uh, Alright, uh, that was a first look of this phone. Uh, apparently I can go back forever and it will... Okay, now I was back at the star screen. Okay, I will try to enter my 
uh, Facebook details and my Google account and everything and check out how it's working after that. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.